from bedroom posters to service station calendars and your lawyer's parking spot, these are the unobtainable rides we mortals can only dream of. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 coolest, most expensive cars. For this list, we'll be looking at the best the automobile world has to offer, whether current or classic. We're considering a mixture of price, rarity, speed, overall sex appeal, and general salivation factor, but have a floor limit of $1 million. So cars like the 847,000 Porsche 918 do not make the cut. To qualify for this list, the cars also have to have been built with at least some notion of mass market in mind, which means concept cars or completely custom and one-off models like the Maybach Accelero or the Rolls-Royce Hyperion by Pininfarina will not be included. Number 10. W Motors Lycan Hypersport Cost $3.4 million $3.4 million, 0 to 60 in less than 3 seconds? There's 7 of these things in the world and this guy keeps it locked up in a ball. Based out of the United Arab Emirates, the relatively young W Motors was eager to make a name for itself in the hypercar scene. Dubbed the first Arab supercar, their mid-engined Lycan Hypersport was limited to just 7 units. Housing a 3.7-liter twin-turbo flat 6, capable of 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, and a 239 mile per hour top speed, the Hypersport is a feisty little thing. At the time of its release, it was the third most expensive car ever made. That may be due to the gold stitching in the interior, a holographic instrument console, and headlights made of titanium and diamonds, or any other stone you may want. 220 of them per headlight. Number 9. The Aston Martin 177 Cost $2.4 million Aston Martin set out to out Aston Aston Martin, and only 77 people will ever know if they succeeded. Unveiled in 2008, the 177 became available for purchase in 2011 and arrived in style with a carbon fiber chassis, handcrafted aluminum bodywork, active aerodynamics, and a 1,000-watt Bang & Olufsen stereo. Based in part on the DB9, the 177 and its 7.3-liter V12 is more likely to appear in video games than in real life and was subject to a journalistic blackout when released. Top Gear magazine managed to review one, thanks to a rebellious dealer in Dubai. Their verdict? Great car, bad gearbox. Number 8. The Lamborghini Miura Cost $2.6 million on the collector's market Created by Lambo engineers while on their break and developed without the approval of Ferruccio Lamborghini, the Miura was built with one thing in mind – speed. Gorgeous inside and out, the chassis alone resulted in a flood of orders in 1965, a year before the body was even designed. Lamborghini continued to tinker with the Miura throughout its production, eventually culminating in seven 380-horsepower, 3.9-liter V12 Miura SVJs. Driven by the likes of Frank Sinatra, Rod Stewart, and Miles Davis, Miura's originally sold for $20,000, but now fetch millions. Nicolas Cage bought one in 1997. Okay, let's run. Its former owner, the Shah of Iran. Number 7. The Koenigsegg 1 to 1 cost $2.85 million. Using Koenigsegg's Agira as its base, the 1 to 1 is named for its power to weight ratio, 1360 PS to 1360 kilograms. A brilliant feat of engineering, the world's fastest mega car is both track focused and street legal and was limited to just six units, most of which were sold in China. A single 1 to 1 was sold in the United States and surprisingly was not bought by Jay Leno. Powered by a 5.0-liter twin-turbo V8, the 1 to 1 can take you to 273 miles per hour, but still has creature comforts like an AC and a stereo. Because he wants to do four times the speed limit, sweaty and tuneless. Number 6. The Pagani Waira Cost $1.3 million You get a lot of style for $1.3 million. You also get a lot of titanium. $37,000 worth of titanium hardware is used in each Huayra, including bolts that cost $98 each. Even the key costs $3,700. But what else do you get? You get a specially designed Mercedes-AMG 6.0-liter V12, 720 horsepower, 
six pieces of fitted luggage, and the knowledge that your ride is the fastest road car ever to lap the Top Gear test track. The Pagani did it in one 13.8. I am not wow. going to The Huayra was limited to just 100 cars and sold out in February 2015. However, a Roadster version was announced soon after. Number 5. The McLaren P1. Cost $1.35 million. Succeeding the McLaren F1 and limited to 375 already sold out units, the P1 boasts an impressive set of numbers. Governed to a top speed of 217 miles per hour, that's 247 miles per hour unleashed, it will accelerate 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds and hit the quarter mile mark in 9.8 seconds. Most impressive of all, 28 US miles per gallon. How? Because this supercar is a hybrid. In fact, 176 of its 903 total horsepower comes from an electric motor. Sure, it's pricey and exclusive, but it's not the costliest ride McLaren has to offer. That would be the track-only P1 GTR, which requires over $3 million and ownership of a regular P1. Number 4. The Ferrari LaFerrari Cost $1.4 million Mass-produced in comparison to most of the cars we've looked at so far, the Ferrari LaFerrari is the distilled essence of all that is Ferrari. Replacing the ultra-exclusive Enzo and a descendant of the Ferrari FXX, the LaFerrari is a car with very few peers. Like the McLaren P1, it's a hybrid, one with a gas 6.3-liter V12, but a hybrid nonetheless, and achieves a total of 950 horsepower. Packed with electronically-assisted everything and a steering wheel loaded with controls, the LaFerrari offers a bit of F1 excitement to even the least talented of well-off drivers. Number 3. The Ford GT40 cost $9 to $11 million on the collector's market. Created largely out of spite, the Ford GT40 had one purpose – to kill Ferrari. Following a tense but failed buyout of Ferrari, Ford decided to race at Le Mans and built one hell of a car to do it. Involving British engineers like John Wire and American gearheads like Carroll Shelby, the GT40 won four straight Le Mans titles two of which were won by the exact same car. Costing 5,200 pounds new, a 1968 model owned by Steve McQueen and used in his 1971 film Le Mans, sold in 2012 for $11 million, the most ever paid for an American car. Number 2. The Bugatti Veyron 16.4 Grand Sport Vitesse Cost $2.5 million The bad news? It sold out. The good news, you couldn't afford it anyway. In a bit of mad science, Bugatti took the regular Grand Sport, added the more powerful Super Sport engine, and created the world's fastest roadster. The Vitesse tops out at 254 miles per hour, but for safety, it's electronically limited to a rather sedate 233 miles per hour. Fully loaded with all the optionals, this already pricey ride can scoot up into the $3 million range quicker than its 2.6 second 0 to 60 time. Compared to the 3.4 million Saint Noir edition, that's damn near a bargain. But here in reality. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. The Ferrari 250 Series Cost a lot While all models in the 250 Series are coveted today, the most sought after, aside from a GTO Berlinetta that sold for $38 million in 2014, is the short wheelbase California, especially those with covered headlights. Other sales have been only slightly more affordable. For example, Top Gear's Chris Evans paid a record $10.9 million in 2008 for James Coburn's 1961 SWB. That record was shattered in 2015 when an unrestored 1961 SWB found in a barn was sold for over $18 million. The 250 may not be in everyone's budget, but if you have the means, we highly recommend picking one up. Do you agree with our list? What's your favorite cool and expensive car? For more luxurious top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.
I know we got a history on no more. And that that history is nothing great. But I promise. You take care of me, I'll take care of you.